You caught me digging a booger. Welcome back to another installment of Service Bulletin Classics. And in today's Service Bulletin Classic Library, we're going to go into the Tecumish Library. Today's Service Bulletin dates from April of 1969. Subject! Fuel pump and line modification to eliminate rough running engine or engine stopping under load. Models affected. HH120, spec number 120061B. Bolens tractors with mechanical fuel pump. Use conversion kit number 32873A and follow the procedure shown below. Kit number 32873A contains fuel pump, gasket pad cover, cover, fuel pump pad, fitting, fuel line, line fuel, cap, screw, SEMS, quarter 20 by 7 16 gasket, carpetrate, mounting, gasket, air cleaner, instruction sheet, section A, page 61. Now we start the procedure for replacing the fuel pump from a mechanical fuel pump to this, it appears, vacuum operated fuel pump. Drain fuel from tank and lines. Remove the present fuel pump. Then install gasket number 31423 and cover number 32955. Thread the fuel fitting number 32958 into the cover until the exposed end is upward. Separate the carburetor from the air cleaner and engine, then remove the fuel inlet elbow. Thread the fuel pump number 32959 onto the carburetor fuel inlet until it seals tightly in the vertical position. Reinstall the carburetor and air cleaner using new gaskets. Install the fuel tank line to the fuel pump. See illustration. Connect the pulse line between the cover and pump. Fill the fuel system with fuel. Start engine and allow warm up. Adjust carburetor. So, what have we learned in today's service bulletin classic? We learned that on some Boland's tractor models with an HH120, which would have been a, a horizontal shaft 12 horse to Cummish engine, that they used the mechanical fuel pump. Sounds to me like it was the same as they would use on the Crowler K series. And what did they do? They did like I've done in some of my tricks where I eliminate the mechanical fuel pump and go to a vacuum operated one. Where they have a block off cover it sounds like they've given you with a gasket and two bolts and you would thread a fitting in there. And then you would take the fitting off the carburetor and take this fuel pump and actually screw it into the threads of the carburetor where the fuel pump is actually mounted to the carburetor. For you grass rats who know what I'm talking about. And then you would run a pulse line to this vacuum operated carburetor fuel pump and then a fuel line from there to the fuel tank. Sounds like the same trick that I came up with. But this one is from 1969. Because they were having trouble with the mechanical pump when it was under a load. Obviously, it was not delivering enough fuel to the carburetor. And this service bulletin had solved that issue. That was a good one. That was a tasty service bulletin. So. Subscribe to this YouTube channel for some more Service Bulletin classics. And there's your dick.